remember, it's not our show. This is your show and we're just here. Life is about everlasting love and this is our time to talk about sex. How are you gonna become sexual after an injury unless you know how your body works? Whatever it is that makes you so sexy and attractive and strong and confident at that time, do it. If you wanna be in a specific relationship, be that person that you wanna be in a relationship with. But physically, things work sometimes, they don't work, but the emotional intimacy is what I think a lot of people are really craving and looking for. Sex as a person with disability can actually be better. You know, so I became a sex researcher in intensive care. There's a hundred other men that would be thrilled if I rolled into the bar and said, hey, can I buy you a drink? For anybody who's living with a physical uh, difficulty or challenge, and that the biggest sex organ is the brain. Well, all people should have some kind of education, and surrogate partners are a part of that. An able-bodied guy wouldn't have thought of it, but Mark and I did. Practice your social skills with people, and you'll start realizing that people are attracted to you. Well, curiosity killed my spinal cord injury virginity, quite literally. <laughs> all sexual activity is based on direction. But this is not true at all. For Brittany and Wilma, spinal cord injury takes the village. What you need to think about birth control when you have a disability. We actually do not have to feel in the physical to feel our sexual energy. The experiences are as diverse as the people with spinal cord.